Hi, Earth Signs. It's Athena, and welcome back to my channel. This is the Element of Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is going to be a reading for Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2020. Okay? So I'm doing the Elements for the month of March. And then if you are wanting more... Um, you want any more information about your specific reading, um, everything can be seen on Vimeo. I will be posting that soon. Okay, so let's get started. The song that I've chosen for the month of March for all the collective is John Legend's Coming Home. Okay, so let's get started. We are starting with the Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for the month of March 2020. Let's see what's going on for the beautiful sign or element of Earth and the beautiful signs that it encapsulates. Okay, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for March 2020. I just heard putting your ducks in a row, which you guys do so eloquently. Getting your ducks in a row. That's what I heard. All right, let's go. One more shuffle. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for the month of March 2020. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's get started. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Look at this. Coming home. Someone's coming home. Someone's coming to your home. You may be waiting for a gift that is coming to you that you have wanted. You may be also going to do some traveling. You're thinking about your ships finally coming in, right? Okay, let's see what else I get here. The three depicts the connectedness of the universe, right? Um, it's the, not only, of course, is the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, but it's also the mind, body, and soul. So whatever is coming to you is going to, I mean, I'm going to say complete. It's a complete, completely new start, right? It is something that you want to start. It's something, it could be somewhere you always wanted to go. It's a gift that's coming in from the universe. It holds the three, okay? Okay. You may be planning a trip within three months, right? Makes sense. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What else? Yeah. So you may be receiving a message coming in from a distance. Message of we don't know yet what, but there's a message coming in. It could also be saying that your knight in shining armor is coming, right? You are going, or someone is coming to you, that you, and you're getting a message of someone coming to visit. You're going to visit. You may be the one with the message of visiting home. See? It's beautiful. I love, love how this works. All right, coming home. Someone may be coming home. Someone may be going home to a place where they used to live right? It's a distant place, another state. I heard another province. So this makes you quite happy because you're being, you're going home. You're going home to a place that feels really comfortable, makes you happy, and gives you peace of mind. So this message that's coming in is in the middle of this right, of this coming home. Someone's coming to you 
you're going, you may be going to your home within the next three months. What is the indecision? Maybe you don't know yet where you want to go. Where is home, right? Where is home? Home is where the heart is, right? So you may not realize exactly, you may not know all the, you may not realize like all the um, lo logistics is what I'm hearing. So the logistics you may not be sure about or when you're going. You may want within the next three months, but you're not sure yet as to what the logistics of this is. But you do know, you do know, what you do know is that there's a message of that coming in. Maybe you don't know or you don't see it coming. Maybe you receive the message and you don't know that someone's coming home or you're going home to them. Someone's coming. It, there's travel sh for sure here within the next three months for you guys. Someone's coming to your home. You're going to their home. A message of that coming in. The logistics is in question. Not being left out anymore from not being left out in the cold. So a message could also be coming in to you about your stability and security because that's the home, right? The stability and security, you're not going to feel left out anymore. It could be a new job is coming in and you're going to hear about it. You didn't see it coming. An opportunity to bring in more money that's coming into your home. And maybe you've been waiting for it subconsciously. It's coming in because two of two of um, swords is something that you are not, you don't see it coming. So maybe some financial abundance is coming to you that you did not see coming. Okay. I'm not ready to do bottom of the deck. That's what I heard. But it came out anyway. See that? Okay, so life is changing. Your life review has has completed. You've completed a cycle where the old is gone and here's all the new. You don't, some, some of the things that you don't understand are unknown to you still yet. Okay, obviously. Things are unknown to you, right? Things are still unknown. They're hidden in the in the darkness. You don't see this message coming into you about traveling, someone coming to you. You don't see it coming. You really don't. Okay. Which is good. This one way flew out. There it is. Look at this. Okay, a lover is coming to you. A new new Abundance is coming to you, a new job opportunity. Something is coming to you, to your home, to make you quite happy, and it's going to grow the relationship, grow your money, and you don't see it coming. Someone is going to offer a message saying, I'm coming to you. One that you didn't see coming. So it's going to be it's going to be an unexpected visit that you didn't see coming. Wow. All right, now bottom of the deck. Unexpected money coming in. Things that you've planted now that you didn't maybe think at once it was going to work or it wasn't going to be fruitful. It's now coming in as fruitful. It's coming in. You, peace, you were at peace waiting for the abundance to come in and now it's here. And it comes to your home, for sure. Right? Here are the blessings. The universe is blessing you with abundant love and happiness, whichever one or both, for the month of March. Okay? You were working diligently and waiting. So this is not a progression. It is how we got to this point where we just planted seeds We've been working hard to get things done, and now the 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 gift is coming to you, to your home. Be it a love relationship, they, this is a blessing from the universe. 
The angelic realm is gifting you with this after being patient and waiting and not expecting. You're not expecting this. You have no idea it's coming. I'm serious. It's kind of like a hidden secret that was kept not in a bad way. This is not in a bad way. This is knowing but not knowing. These two cards, something maybe you thought was over is now being reignited and something you don't see coming at all. And it's coming in the form of a message, the Knight of Swords. Okay, so traveling. Uh, maybe it's a surprise from a lover, a partner saying, hey, guess what? I'm coming to see you. Or you're saying that to someone else. I'm coming home. I want to be with you. We've been working, working on it. And this is a blessing from the angelic realm. It could also be, like I said, it could be the abundance that you've been waiting for after planting some seeds and working hard. No more being left out of feeling also not worthy enough to receive these blessings, right? Because you've worked hard, this could also be working hard on yourself. And now the message is, overall message is, I'm coming home. Meaning you have established a masculine and feminine merging of oneness. But more importantly, I feel that for most of the earth signs, someone is coming to you within the next three months coming home, going home to their home and they're, they're going to be speaking from their heart and saying, I want to be with you. I want to see you. Let's talk. Right. Where there was chaos, there is no longer chaos. There's a, now an under, a surprise coming to you from someone or you're going to surprise someone in the next three months. So this is for March, right? So March, April, May, There's which makes sense, right? Because March, April, May could be spring break, going to see someone then, or it could be the summer holiday, you're making some plans to travel. Some of you are literally going home. The going home could also mean going uh, being, being, um, working on self, you know, you've been working on yourself for a long time and now you have built your own empire within yourself. Okay. It could also be within self. Traveling is for sure highlighted for the earth signs for March. Okay. Let's get some clarifying cards on this, this travel going on. You've been patiently waiting for this. Yeah, you could, you don't want what you, what I guess the, the, the cautionary message is if this is a cycle that's repeating itself, just see it for what it's worth. You've been patiently waiting to, you have been patiently waiting. See, there's a tree. The tree of life is in, is in the hourglass, right? As above, so below, right? Because it's the infinity. You can see, yeah? Okay, so the cycle keeps going around and around. So make sure that whatever is coming to you that you don't see coming, that you can break a cycle and that you don't repeat any cycles, it's not bad, but this could be someone coming in and out of your life, right? And it keeps coming around. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's see what else. Okay, so for, for many of you, look at this. Many of you are as above, so below. You have been waiting and hoping and wishing for a new job opportunity, money to come in, 
prosperity, the seeds that you've planted are right here that are balancing out your home life. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, you are going to not, the end of not feeling abundant is coming in for you. This is a gift. The end of patterns continuing to, to cycle, the cycle of, this could be, the cycle is, you know, is going around with maybe a job opportunity, going back and forth through, you know, uh, interviews, one interview after another, and you're not sure and you don't see an offer coming in. That could be it, an offering of money coming in that you didn't see coming through a job opportunity, okay? This could be a business partnership that you're going into, right? You're going, you're being, this could be work and love together, right? So someone could be traveling for a job and find love, for sure. And someone doesn't see it coming. And this is definitely a blessing here. For sure. Not that they're not always blessings, because they are. The messages are always blessings. Look at this. Flew out. All right. The blessing is someone is coming home to be with you. Meaning they're, they're from a distance and they want you, they want to see you, they want to be with you. They want to share their love with you, and you don't see it coming. A business opportunity. In addition, in addition, this cycle could be in and out in a love relationship as well as in a financial opportunity. Partnering up in a financial opportunity that's going to bring great growth. This could be part going home. Someone is going home and partnering up with a, an opportunity. The opportunity, this message is coming in that might be a business opportunity. And then like ends up, who knows, could be a friend that you fell in love with during this time. Something is something that you didn't see coming is is happening here for sure in love and in your finances and it's all good. There's not one card on the board here, not one card on the board here that does not depict great happiness and contentment in love and prosperity in whatever that means to you from your heart center, right? Coming home is your heart. So you want to make sure that whatever you do choose, be it a community getting together, being a job opportunity that there's more than, you know, a couple people involved, just choose wisely. Maybe you have options to choose between jobs and or a, a very beautiful union uh, that's coming in that you seriously do not see coming. Okay. Let's see what's happening here. Let's get one card from the Ascended Masters and Archangels for the beautiful Taurus Virgo Capricorn for the month of March. Here it is. The Miriam Sacred Vision. Look at that. Look at this. Are you kidding? Sacred Vision. Getting exactly what you want. I think you're have, you're getting it all. This is how I feel. I feel that Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you guys are getting it all. You're getting the great happiness and love, true love, no, mind you, okay? And happiness in your financial situation. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all and remember that love has no boundaries. Beautiful, beautiful. You could be dealing with, let's go through some of the signs that you could be dealing. For sure, because of the swords and the Miriam is a Gemini. 
Libra, Aquarius. So that could be, you could also be dealing with a Scorpio. And that's it. That's it. So it's air sign and water signs is what Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus are dealing with for the month of March. I'm going to pick one love card because it's all about love. Let me do an oracle card for Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'll do one for singles and one for couples, okay? And then if you want any more in-depth reading, you can um, purchase on my Vimeo channel. I will put the link in the description box for March 2020 for each individual sign. The readings are different. I'm doing these now for the month, for the monthly readings from now on. Okay, for at least a while. So it helps support my channel as well. Okay, singles we have. Actually, two cards came out. I wasn't focusing on the singles versus the paired couples, so this is for both. Calling in your soulmate and romantic feelings, for sure. This is happening for Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for the month of March. So if you're coupled, you already have great romantic feelings for a union that you're definitely in the right place with the person that you so desire. It feels like going home. It is in your heart center, which is your home. So singles, you, you have been calling in a soulmate and here it is coming to you that you have great romantic feelings for. It's beautiful. Have a great month.